Is this what you call a fast? A day that pleases a done eye? If you're not doing this to please me, it's not a fast. Amen. Come on. Come on. See? Woo. The things that we must do are to be what? Set ourselves in order to please God, to please Yeshua. Amen. But you want to fast and call yourself fasting for you can go out in public and say, look at me, I've been fasting. I did this and I did that. Where was the Spirit of God? Where was the Spirit of Yeshua? Mm -mm, it ain't no fasting. Yeah, that's not no fasting, him. Yeah? No. He says, here is the sort of fast I want. Yes. Talk about God, what God wants. Yes. Releasing those unjustly bound. Yes, hallelujah. See? Come on. See? We're releasing the souls to those that were unjustly bound. Yes, cleaning ourselves up. Come on. Purging. Purging of, of evil, purging of wickedness. See? I got a nephew that's bound unjustly. Yes, God. Amen. But he can fast, but, but he can but be released. Amen. Yes. I'm not saying he didn't do what he did. Amen. But he did not deserve, does not deserve the time that he's getting. Yes. Amen. That's unjust. Amen. When he does the just time, let him go. Amen. Amen. But don't give him unjust time. Same with so unjust time. You know, a lot of people like to go up there and talk about talking about unjustness. A lot of people like to call, talk about King David, amen. And when King David said, well, King David, he said it. Amen. King David paid too. He said it, and God still loved him, but David paid for those sins. Sure did. He had, he had the price to pay for those sins. He had to repent of those sins. He had to repent of the evilness. Yes, he did. He had to repent. For killing your right and taking your uh, uh, by she as your wife. Had to repent for making that baby out of wedlock. Had to repent of it. Yeah, and the baby had to die. And that went on this. Kill it. See, whatever sin that David did, he had to repent. Sure did. Sure. Did. And he got punished for it. Every sin you commit, you get punished for it. See. We think we, we don't want to get punished for our sins. We don't want to get punished for our wickedness. Yes, we but it's better that we get punished for our wickedness by God and his, and his, and while he's in a peaceful mind than go up there and get punished for him in his anger. Amen. Any time we sin, make him angry. He says, Untying the thrones of the yoke, letting the oppressed go free, breaking every yoke, sharing your food with the hungry, taking the homeless poor into your houses, clothing the naked when you see them, fulfilling your duty, fulfilling your duty to your, to, to your kinsmen. See, this kind of fast that God wants. As far as what? We're doing that that is holy. We're doing that that is righteous. Being a help to people. Breaking the Not being yokes. selfish. Amen. Breaking and destroying the yokes. That's right. Breaking and destroying yokes. Off the family. Generation curses. You know, encouraging the family to do better. Mm -hmm. Stripping the family with power of your sure. Not destroying the family. Not separating the family. Pride. Not being greedy, not being prideful, Pride. not being hateful. Change will come. Why can't it does change will come? There'll be a change of holiness in the family. Yes. He says, then your light. Your light will burst forth light. like the morning. Your new skin will quickly grow over your womb. Your righteousness will precede you. You say, hey, you know, hey, I can heal you then. Yes, a new life. See? A glorious skin, Holy Ghost. He said, 
I can heal you then because, see, you'll have my spirit in you. Hallelujah. I'll be with you. Hey. See, you'll be what? A new creature. Oh, yeah. Well, I had to cut you open and let that sin and that wickedness out of you and the draw it out of you. Now I can cover it up. I can heal you. I can pass you up now. Thank you, I'll be our way. He says, Your righteousness will precede you, and a Adonai's glory will what? Follow you. See, the glory, the Shekinah glory will what? Follow you, will be with you. You know, I, say, I don't worry about anything, I don't worry about the path I'm walking. If God is always following me, what am I going to worry about? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Yeah. What, 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 what's my concern? I don't have to worry about no wild animals. I don't have to worry about nothing. I don't even think about it. Why? Because it said, God and glory, your Lord is with me. Mm -hmm. you being as long as I say obedience to God, He's with me. I ain't got to worry about, you know, yeah, yeah I need to take precautions. Okay. You're using but it's not gonna be my 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 word. I can't see that. Uh uh. Thank you, Lord. He says, "Then you will call, and a done I will answer." Yes. Notice, 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 people. See, I know you want to look at that sin. Pretty lightly there, but let's look at that. When you're obedient. See, when we're obedient and obeying the mitzvahs and the statutes and the laws of God, and when we call on Him, He said, Then I will answer. Hallelujah. But if you're not being obedient to the word of God, how are you going to answer you? He asks you if he wants to. Amen. But here he's saying, hey, when you walk in my way, I will answer. Because what? You're my child. The child's crying out. He says, I'll answer you. I'm coming to your rescue. Hallelujah. God, I hear you. If you're not walking in holiness, if you're not walking in righteousness, God can, is not communicating with you. Amen. You don't hear the prayers of the sinner. No, he don't. Yeah, mercy. He says, then you will call and Adonai will answer. You will cry and he will say, here I am. Hallelujah. See, you will know that God is answering because he's going to say, here I am, my child. I hear your cry. Glory, glory. glory. Here I am. Hallelujah. Anyhow. I don't know about you. But when I cry out, I want God to answer me. I want him to take me up in his arms and, and cuddle me. I want him to hold me. I want him to ride me like I'm a little baby in his arms. That's me. Thank you, Lord. He says, If you will remove the yoke from among you, stop false accusation and slander, generously offer food to the hungry, and meet the needs of the person in trouble, then your light will rise in the darkness. He says, see, see this? See, by doing, by becoming a doer of God's word. Yes, God. By living in the reality. Yes. By not being greedy. By not being selfish. He says, then your light will rise up. In other words, then you will see your prayers being answered. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Then you will see your blessings coming. 
Amen. Yeah. But see, you see, you got it made when you be selfish and you be greedy and you be mean and you be stingy. No, that's not the way. That's not God's way. Uh-uh. That's not God's way. Uh-uh. Hallelujah. So you got to see this in the Word of God for yourselves. Yes, God. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. He says, and your gloom will become like noon. Hallelujah. Adonai will always what guide you. Yes. He will satisfy your needs in the desert. Yes. He will renew the strength in your limbs. Mm, yes, Lord. So that you will be like a water garden, mm. like a spring whose water never fails. Hallelujah. You will rebuild the ancient ruins, yes. raise foundation from ages past, yes. and be called repair of broken walls, restore of streets to, to live in. Hallelujah! If you just do these things, yes. if you would just what? Obey the word of God. Yes, Lord. Trust your sure. And live holy. Live righteously. Yes, Lord. Be holy in what all of our doing. Yes. Everything that we do, let it be done unto the Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank Amen. You. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let us be holy. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Teach me your shoes. Uh oh. I know, okay. Some of you are very cut off now. We're going to talk about the Sabbath again. It's alright. Okay. So, are you going to say that you don't have to keep the Sabbath with your back? You know, make you angry? It's alright. Oh, let, 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 let me. Well, that's right. I'm using a complete Jewish Bible. Let me see if I can find this in the King James Version. King it's King. in there. It's in there. Is it in there? Yes. It's the same Bible, but different. Uh, it's a Hebrew, different language. That's all. It's in there. One Bible. Just translation. That's all. Okay. Fifty-nine and thirteen. Isaiah fifty-nine and thirteen. Fifty-eight. Yeah. Excuse me. Fifty-eight and eighteen. Fifty-eight and thirteen. Excuse okay. me. Oh, okay. Say Sabbath. All right, then. I'm in the King James Version of the Bible here, too. I'm going to read what it says in the complete Jewish Bible first, and I'm going to go back to the complete uh, Jew, uh, the King James, okay? In the complete Jewish Bible, it says, If you hold back your foot on your back from pursuing your own interest on my holy day, if you will call, if you call Shabbat a delight, a Donai's holy day, worth honoring, and then honor it by not doing your usual things, or pursuing your interests, or speaking about them, if you do, you will find delight in a Donai. I will make you ride on the heights of the land and feed you with the heritage of your ancestors Jacob and the mouth of Adonai, for the mouth of Adonai has spoken. He said, God has spoken. He said, I said this. Now let's, let's see what it says in the King James Version, amen. He says, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure 
on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight. The Holy One of the Lord, honorable and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Say, turn away from your pleasure on the Sabbath day. Amen. Don't take our pleasure on the Sabbath day. Amen. Husband and wife, don't take your pleasures on, on the, the Sabbath. Sabbath day. Amen. Keep it holy. You got six days to go up there and have pleasure with one another. God Amen. has asked for this complete day. Amen. You know, he has told us already not to what, be doing any work on the right. Sabbath day. That this is what his day. Amen. Shouldn't so be doing no cooking, no shopping. Amen. No watching TV, listening to the radio, going to the park, playing football, baseball, basketball, sports, whatever not. But give this day entirely to the Lord. Yes. This is a holy day. And when God speaks of the Shabbat or talks about the Sabbath, he's talking about the seventh day. Yes, he is. See, you just say that the first day is your Sabbath. You get out of church and you're out there in the malls. You're shopping. The restaurant. You're in the watching football, playing baseball, whatever, not in your sports. In the restaurant too. You in the restaurants, you doing whatever you want to do. You taking your pleasure. God ain't being in that no way, so he don't care. <laughs> so how can that be a Sabbath unto the Lord that God? It's not. See, you even hypocrite on your own selves. It's not a Sabbath. When you God. said that it was a Sabbath. It's not a Sabbath. But it's not a Sabbath. It can't be. God, this it's the first day of the week. You can play football, baseball, basketball, whatever you want to do on the first day of the week. Mm -hmm. Everything but sing. Can't sing. You sure can go to these places and be here. Come on. <laughs> but see, on the seventh day, when, we, when we're a people of God, Come on. the seventh day Sabbath is holy unto God. That's right. And holy unto us. Now, we warm up our food. We cook our food, pre-cook our food uh -huh. for the Sabbath day. We pre-cook our breakfasts and warm it up. Amen. That's or we right. we eat cereal. Okay, we warm up our, minute, uh, our, our dinner. That's right. But we don't cook it. Amen. No, no. Everything be warm. We don't watch TV. Amen. We don't listen to the radio. Amen. See, well, how you find? Well, any news I need to know, God is going to warn us. That's right. We give this day entirely to the Lord. Amen. Bring about what? Give Him what the honor, give Him the glory. Yes. Not take it our own pleasure. We don't no, go sir. fishing. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Don't go hunting. Mm -hmm. No, no. To one another house and sit up. Mm -hmm. We don't go. We don't go to our job. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you, you know, a job. Uh, hey, hey, good paying jobs. We're gonna offer plenty of money. Say, so, but you gotta work on Saturday. I said, no, I can't do that. Amen. I said, I work on Saturday. I'm going to work. Amen. I took a janitor as I mean took a job as a janitor, but I wouldn't have to work for the Sabbath sure day. Did. Less money. Less money. Whole lot less money. Amen. But you sure blessed it. Yes, it did. Bless our chick. It was costing us to go to work. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure was. You know, it was. It was costing us to go to work. I'm at the school, then you at the school at another school. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. But God said if a person don't work, a man don't uh, uh, work. Not supposed to eat. Ain't supposed to eat. He works in an infidel because he's not taking care of his family. Uh -huh. But I trust God, God should take the job. I bless you. 
And he did. Amen. Amen. I'm not telling nobody to go to work. I don't care. Hey, look. Yeah, the church needs tithes and offering. Yes, we do. But I ain't gonna tell you to go to work before the church and get tithes and offering on the Sabbath day. No, sir. I'm gonna tell you to steal and kill and gamble. No, sir. How's that gonna be holy? It How's that gonna be pleasing to God? It's not. Trust God. That's it. Trust you sure. Hallelujah. God, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, Lord, nor his seed begging to break. Just obey God. Obey God. He'll do the rest. Obey you sure. Amen. 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 Now I know who said something. Amen today. Yes, that. Make it into the kingdom of God. But that's how I go. So do what? Make it into the kingdom of the Lord. Yes. I'm going to bring turn this back over the hands of our apostle. Amen. Ooh. And let her come forward. Or how the Lord be sure wants to use her. My God, my God. Amen. Ooh, come on, let us stand on our feet. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you. Amen, amen. Let us stand on our feet. And let us take your shoe on the seat. truly say, amen, we have received a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God's spoken word. Hallelujah. I praise Yeshua. Amen. For the man of God. For the, amen. That was a word from heaven. I thank Yeshua for feeding us. Amen. Amen. You know, if anybody's soul be lost in this ministry, it ain't nobody's fault but ours. If our soul be lost, even from us preaching and teaching this word. Mm -hmm. If our soul be lost, we deserve to go to that burning hell. Yes, Do you hear me? I'm talking about us preaching it. I'm talking about, amen, you hearing it in this ministry. Yes, yes. If anybody's soul be lost, you deserve it. Or we deserve to go to that burning hell. Amen. For being disobedient, amen. we will be disobedient hypocrites. Yes. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? Yes. I said, if our soul be lost, we will be disobedient hypocrites. Amen. Amen. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah. Ain't fought nobody but self. Hallelujah. Because the one thing I can say, your shoe, I'm going to see you. He feed us up in here. He feed us his word. Yes. So hallelujah, amen. If you want to, amen, tip around, slip around, you want to be whores and liar, whatever you want to be. Ain't nobody fought but you. Amen. And guess what? God gonna bring you to open shame yes, Lord. if you're doing these things. Yes. I don't care if you did it yesterday. I don't care if you did it the day before yesterday. After you know the truth from this ministry and hearing this word, yes. and you go out here and commit the dirt and all this other stuff, I'm say, you deserve. Amen. You're gonna be open shame. Come on, love your shoe. I don't care who you are. Because the word of God is for us all. Yes, it's for us, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I ain't no need to get mad about the word of God. Amen. Get mad with ourselves. Yes. Repent and live right. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Lord, help us. Amen. Because I'm telling you, God, he, he feed us up in here. He feed us from heaven. Because he want our soul to be what? Save. Holy. Holy. He want us to come out of, out of ourselves. Stay out of ourselves. Amen. And walk in the spirit of God at all times. Yes. Hallelujah. I ain't got time. Amen. I ain't got time to shuck and jive with the devil. Amen. It's time about playing. Amen. With the devil. Amen. Time about making excuses with the devil. Amen. It's time about, amen, dating with the devil. It's time out for this dating game. Yes. Dating game is other devil. Amen. God didn't tell us to date. He told us to get married. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't tell us thanks today. He said, get married. Amen. Amen. And I appreciate your shoe. I'm going to say the word of God is right. 
He wants them to get married, wants to get married, so he won't give no room to the flesh. Amen. Come on, love your shoes. I love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So, amen. This is all for today. All the word for today. I'm sorry, amen, that if you didn't get it, nobody fought but self. Hallelujah, because this is all that he finished with us. Amen. This is, amen. If you would like to write us, you can write us. Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ, Macy, on a community, P.O. Box 824 of Monroeville, Alabama, the zip 36461. If you would like to attend service here with us, we are right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama, the zip 36445. We have service here every Friday evening, if to be the Lord's will, at 6 p.m. at the beginning of the Shabbat. Every Saturday, if it's the Lord's will, at 11 a.m., which is the seven-day Sabbath. We would like to, amen, to encourage you to have Bible study, to have Bible study prayer in your own home. Please, sir, please, ma'am. Have some Bible study and prayer in your own home. Amen. Have some repentance service in your own home. Amen. Cry out and ask repent me. Amen. To cry out and ask God to forgive you for all of your sins. Teach your little babies, amen, how to cry. If they're old enough to talk, begin to teach them to say, Lord, forgive me. They're two years old and they can talk. One year old, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, you're sure. Forgive me of my sin. Come on, love your shoe. Amen. Amen. Got to instill it in. Got to instill it in. Just like you instill, amen, just partying and dancing and cussing them because they hear what you're saying, amen, and see what you're doing. Instill, amen, holiness and righteousness in the children. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah. I was telling our little grandson yesterday, we seen him. Amen. He got everything. I told him, I said, you got everything but the church and the preacher. Everything but the school and the teacher. Amen. You told him. I said, like, everything else I see you have. But now you need you need a church and you need the preacher. A Holy Ghost, a rock, Hakadash preacher. And you need a teacher. Amen. You need the school and you need uh, amen, a teacher there to teach you everything else you need to know. Come on, love your shit. Hallelujah. Amen. Teach you how to pray. Teach you, amen, how to call upon your shoe. Teach you how to be holy, be an example before you. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We would like to encourage you. Hallelujah. Amen. We would like to encourage you. Amen. Just pray. Just begin to repent. If you are a sinner, you don't know your sure in the part of your sin. Repent. Come godly sorrow. Amen. For the sin that, amen, you have committed. Feel bad about it. Feel ashamed about the things that you say you have done or done. Let it be, amen. Let you feel bad about it. Ask God to help you, amen, to feel bad about it. Even if you say, begin to Lord, you help me to feel safe. Before, help me feel sad for the stuff I have already done. done. Yes, sir. Even though you don't forgave me, but hallelujah, sometimes we need to think back. Yes. So you won't go back. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know what kind of horror of devil you was in the world? Amen. Cry out against those demons. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, because the enemy tried to bring this stuff back. He'll try to bring this stuff back to you. Yeah. Like you don't like you missing something out here in the world. Mm -hmm. You ain't missing nothing but sin. It's all. On your way back to on, on your way to that burning hell. That's the truth. And may not get back to God. Amen. Amen. And a lot of you man say that's all we gotta do, sin and repent. I'm gonna tell you something about that. It's some consequences behind that. You might have repent, but guess what? You gonna pay for it. Mm -hmm. You gonna pay for what? Dearly. I hear God say dearly. Because see, when we know better, and we, amen, that's go out here, amen, and that's sin in our God. You know, amen, you know where the devil's at. A lot of times, devil, I come and say, don't let your feet, huh? Keep your feet on the what? The right level, on the right pathway. Amen. Don't let your feet go crooked. Amen. Huh? Word. Don't be thinking about doing evil. That's right. Keep your foot on the right level. In holiness. 
sometimes the devil have everything set up in place right there for you. Everything right there. That's the truth. They're like the devil had Bathsheba right there up on the roof, naked. Sent David out the door and he seen them. The devil has stuff set up for you to bring you down. And some of y'all already lukewarm anyway, so you don't need no devil to bring you down. Come on, love, you're sure. You already had stepping, amen. You already don't have no anointing. So what you need to be lukewarm for trying to preach to the people? Mm -hmm. Don't need no lukewarm preachers. Amen. Hallelujah. God said his ministers are flames of fire. Flames Hallelujah. Yes, Come Lord. on, love, you're sure. Hallelujah, Lord. And when you are anointed, hallelujah, that means you are being obedient to the word of God. Amen. Anointed mean being obedient to the word of God. Yes, not how well you can preach, not how well you can sing, but be obedient to the word of God. Because yes. yes, the word of God said the anointing breaketh the straw the yokes. Hallelujah. Not about how well you sing, it's about how well are you living this word. Yes. Come on, love, you're sure. God ain't looking for no, amen, no extraordinary preacher. He's looking for a preacher that is real, that is holy. Hallelujah. He ain't looking about how well you can speak, how elegant you can speak, how elegant, amen, you can preach, how elegant you can sing. He's looking about, he's looking at you, are you holy? That's what makes a difference with God, holiness. Come on, love him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. We would like to, amen, to encourage you and to invite you, amen, to pray with us every evening at 6 p.m., every night at 9 p.m. If the Lord's will, we praying. Hallelujah, we praying. Whether we on the road or wherever, we praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. If you would like to email Chief Apostle Norman Goldston, you can email him, Jesusman, at frontiernet.net. Again, if you would like to email Chief Apostle Norman Goldston, you can email him, Jesusman, at frontiernet.net. If you'd like to email myself, Apostle Carrie Goldston, you can email me, Jesuswoman at frontier.com. Again, if you'd like to email myself, Apostle Carrie Goldston, it is Jesuswoman at frontier.com. If you would like to call us, you can call us at Eric 251-593-3683. Or 251-593-3671. Again, if you would like to call us, you can call us at area code 251-593-3683. Or 251-593-3671. If you call us and we do not answer, leave your name, your telephone number, and a detailed message. We will return your call. Or you can write us at our P.O. Box. If you want to write us, amen, and if you want to talk to us about the service or whatever, do that. Do that. We don't argue. We don't get in fights over the word of God. If we can't show you what the scriptures say, and you don't want to believe what the word of God say, all we can do is pray and go our way. We love you all with the love of Yeshua. If the Lord's will, we'll see you next Friday evening. At the beginning of the Shabbat at 6 p.m. In your hand, Mother Lafette. Let's give my mother Lafette a, a hand clap of praise. Amen.